Harvard Financial Wellness. Reach out to them for advice at 855-DON-GINO. And now back to your host, Don Getling and Gino Franti. Viewed over and over is about college planning. So thank you for joining us again, Robert. Guys, it's a pleasure to see you both. Uh, I see you both weigh about 12 pounds again, so congratulations. <laughs> uh, and, and let me just say the, the shirts... Stunning. The last time I saw, you know, such uh, symmetry in shirts, God. I was uh, coming back from Mexico. And well, that's a long story. <laughs> or, or, or the family in, in uh, Disneyland so you can find them all, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Gino yeah. and I are wearing the same shirts. You can see it by going to donandgino.com. Click on the listen, live button, live streaming. Uh, you can watch us and uh, play with us on a regular basis every Saturday. So, Mr. Rob. Let's talk about extracurricular activities. What a great idea. And not, not the ones uh, our extracurricular Yeah, let's activities. not talk about mine. Yeah, I yeah. was a visitor in college. I would consider that an extracurricular activity. And they didn't even want him to do that. Okay. No, I, I have Dorm no Dorm rooms, doubt. neighboring apartments. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, we're going to leave this a PG conversation okay. here in the Santa Clarita Valley on a Saturday morning. And frankly, bagels and pancakes or bagels or pancakes it's it's open to discussion I, i'm going to leave that to anyone who wants to carbo all good. you know whatever yeah. it takes <laughs> uh let's come back to extracurriculars first the definition w what's an extracurricular activity it is anything you do outside of class it could be a club or an organization on campus or off campus it could be volunteer work on campus or off campus it could be a job god forbid we have kids who earn a living and understand the value of a dollar uh, sports on or off campus, Obviously. Uh, research, guided or otherwise. Uh, I can't tell you how many people are looking for these research opportunities throughout the school year. And they don't realize you don't have to get a, a certificate of completion. You don't have to have 40 hours of work to have something count in your academic resume. Did you, you know, travel to Iowa to visit your paternal grandfather and each summer you take apart and rebuild the family tractor. Guess what? That's an extracurricular activity for a student who's trying to yeehaw. demonstrate. Yeah, well, it's a bit yeehaw, <laughs> grant you that, but that's engineering at its finest. Right. I mean, do you understand the mechanics of building a, a mechanical contrivance? Do you know how to take it apart? Do you know how to put it back together? And did you enjoy the experience? Did you enjoy spending that time doing it? Um, above and beyond just hanging out with grandpa, you got to do something that was really kind of cool and interesting, and it makes you think. I wouldn't even have yeah. thought about that. That's, that's good stuff because, I mean, I, I hated my summers having to basically rebuild houses since I was 13. But that would have probably been something good saying, yeah, I literally built homes all every summer during the summer with my dad, whether it was laying drywall or pulling wires for electri electrical or whatever it was, and plumbing, all that stuff. That w I, you're right. That w I wouldn't even have thought of that being it's extracurricular. Definitely activity. extracurricular. I mean, I mean, I can't tell you how many extra extracurricular activities I would have had if I had to count all those. I mean, I operated a CNC machine since I was 11 years old. You know, cutting and you know, knowing all the ge all the geological formations and stones and things. I never even thought of that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's always interesting stuff from Mr. Rob Schwartz. It's meant yeah, to open your eyes to a bigger universe, boys. Thank you. And you do that every time. So thank you for being again. Rob Schwartz of Premier College Guidance, our college, um, basically, uh, com well, well, I want to di dive in again. When we talked about last segment, um, actually, I'm getting off track. I want to make sure we get into the consultation piece before we close out. we got about eh, four minutes here, three and a half minutes. Well, I, I want to make sure that Families don't, I mean, here's the big issue. Are families so confident and so comfortable in their decision-making process? And usually that means, well, we open up U.S. News and World Report magazine or the online version, and we look at the top 25 schools and go, those are the 25 schools you want to go to. Mm, we've talked about how those, how those colleges get rated, and that's not always the best way. Correct. Uh, furthermore, is every student in America designed and ready and prepared to handle the rigor of those 25 schools and knowing how different those 25 schools are. You have schools in that list that have 40,000 undergraduate students and you have those that have less than 1,000. Those are not the same experience in college. No doubt. I mean, I just got back from Virginia. I saw three schools, all of them selective colleges. Uh, University of Richmond has about 3,000 students, amazing campus. Uh, college of William and Mary in Williamsburg, public school with 6,000 students. That's pretty uncommon in a place like California. Amazing school, amazing kids, thriving. And then the University of Virginia in Charlottesville, 15,000 students. Again, an amazing campus designed and built by Thomas Jefferson. Talk mm -hmm. about steeped in history. Hey, no doubt. 
all of them are great and all of them are amazing and all of them provide a world-class education and all of them are difficult to get into. And your child doesn't belong at all three of them. Not because they can't get in or they're not smart enough, but because each of the experiences at those schools is so darn different. And you need to understand and talk to someone who can walk you through what is it that you are specifically looking for so your child can get the best possible education for their skill set. Well, the other thing I, I love that you bring up, and, that, and that's always important stuff that most of us don't think about, most parents don't think about. The other thing you bring up is opportunities that they don't know can be available to your students. And you mentioned one that got into, say, like, a, a, I mean, these are big schools, like a Michigan State, and was basically, you know, carte blanche. Uh, I know I'm going to go see basically uh, my uh, adopted niece, and she's going to Iowa. And it was totally not on her normal, you know, radar, but the opportunity arose. She's going to all four years. She pays. You know how much she pays a year? Where is she from? Uh, she's from California and was a top student, top everything. Not she's everybody. paying less than $2,000 a year. One penny. One penny. One penny. That's God it. bless America. So, <laughs> so there's opportunities out there. There's education out there. We just talked about that in the beginning of the show, whether it's real estate and finance. You can reach out to you know Paul Gonzalez at Troop Real Estate. You can reach out to, of course, our amazing team at Skyline Home Loans right on Turney Road in Valencia. Um, and you can find out more at uh, SantaCritaHomeLoan.com, SantaCritaHomeLoan.com. And then we have Rob Schwartz with Premier College Guidance. You need to talk and at least get a consultation with this man. He will change you and your child's life without a doubt and help relieve that stress that comes with trying to figure out the whole college rigmarole that we all have to figure out. You know, one of the common threads with all of our guests, uh, Rob included, is that Almost everyone will feel great when they have the consultation with one of these professionals. Nobody will walk away saying, gosh, I wish I didn't do that. Never. Everybody will say, wow, I really got a lot of value from that. Whether they decide to purchase the services of that vendor or yep. not, doesn't matter. They always get some sort of value, and that's what this show's about. No doubt. So how can they get a hold of you, Bob? By all means, 818-359-3779. Uh, it rings in my pocket. Or Rob, R-O-B, at Premier College Guide. Dot com. All right. Thanks again, Rob, for being part of our show and always adding value, buddy. Absolutely. And making it a great guys. show. And thank you for joining us every Saturday, 9 a.m. And then again, these, co these uh, are recorded and replayed daily at donandgino.com every day at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. Thank you for joining us. We'll be with you next Saturday.